Seven signs in your body that show your heart might not be so well. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in many countries. For example, in the United States, one in every four deaths is the result of heart disease. Heart disease doesn't discriminate. It's the leading cause of death for several populations, including Caucasians, Hispanics, and African Americans. Almost a quarter of the entire population is at risk for heart disease, and the numbers are rising. Heart disease encompasses a very wide range of cardiovascular problems. Several diseases and conditions fall under the ambit of heart disease. While they can be deadly, it is also preventable for most people. By adopting healthy lifestyle habits early, you can easily live longer with a healthier heart. In this video, we are going to show you seven signs that indicate your heart may not be well and that you should immediately consult your doctor. Chest pain. Chest pain is an agitation or pain that you feel along the front of your body between your neck and upper abdomen. There are many reasons for chest pain that have nothing to do with your heart. But chest pain is still the most common symptom of poor blood flow to the heart or cardiac arrest. This type of chest pain is known as angina. Chest pain can occur when your heart is not getting enough blood or oxygen. The amount and type of pain can differ from person to person. The intensity of the pain doesn't always relate to how severe the problem is. Shortness of breath. When the heart cannot pump blood as well as it should, blood backs up into the veins that go from the lungs to the heart. Fluid flows into the lungs and causes shortness of breath. This is a symptom of heart failure. You may notice shortness of breath during activity, while you're resting, and when you're lying flat on your back. It may even wake you up from sleep. Narrowed blood vessels. Narrowing of the blood vessels that bring blood to other parts of the body may indicate that you have a much higher risk for heart attack. It can occur when cholesterol and other kinds of fatty material build up on the walls of your arteries. A stroke occurs when the blood flow to part of the brain stops. A stroke is sometimes called a brain attack. Symptoms of a stroke can include difficulty in moving the limbs on one side of your body, one side of the face drooping, and difficulty speaking or understanding language. Fatigue. Fatigue can have many causes. Sometimes it simply needs you need more rest. However, feeling run down can be a sign of a more serious problem. Fatigue may be a sign of heart trouble when you feel more tired than normal. It's more common for women to feel severely tired before or during a heart attack. You feel so tired you cannot do your normal daily activities or you have sudden, severe weakness. Fast or uneven heartbeat. If your heart cannot pump blood, it may beat faster to try and keep up. You might feel your heart racing or throbbing. A fast or uneven heartbeat can be the sign of an arrhythmia. An arrhythmia is a disorder of the heart rate called pulse or heart rhythm. The heart can beat too fast, too slow, or irregularly. It can be harmless, a sign of other heart problems, or at times, an immediate danger to your health. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet. Swelling in your lower legs is another sign of a heart problem. When your heart doesn't perform well, Blood flow slows and backs up in the veins in your legs. This causes certain fluids to build up in your tissues. You may also have swelling in your stomach or notice weight gain. All these things indicate heart problems. Coughing or wheezing. While most people associate coughing as a common symptom that relates to lung or respiratory issues, its connection to heart failure often goes unnoticed. This is called a cardiac cough, and it often happens to those with congestive heart failure. If you cough every time you take a deep breath or get quickly winded at the end of a long speech, then you might be dealing with a chronic cough. How to deal with it? You can lower your chances of having future health problems by following these simple steps. Physical activity. Your heart is a muscle, and as with any muscle, exercise can strengthen it. The first step is to determine your target pulse, and then find an activity you enjoy and can stick with for the long run. Quit smoking. Quitting smoking is tough, but if you know that it's important to quit, and one of the biggest reasons is that it's linked to heart disease. Don't stress. There are more than 1,400 biochemical responses to stress, including a faster heart rate and a rise in blood pressure. If you don't manage your stress, it can create even more stress and trap you in a stress cycle. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you like it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your feedback, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. We'll be back with another amazing video. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.